Blup. Blup, blup. And welcome to Subnautica. Today we will be expanding the game with mods. Literally, because our first one is Subnautica Expanded. Well, vanilla expanded, but it just didn't really fit the intro so well and so I now, if any of you remember the FC Studios bundle, which unfortunately still doesn't work for Subnautica 2.0, this mod does something similar. Now, let's do a bit of building. Here we have a nice little foundation bridge. Actually, let's make that a little bigger. <clears throat> so here we have a nice little foundation platform. And let's say I was just about to build a casual multi-purpose room on it. Just like that, nothing fancy. Now, we all know the first thing you need for a base is power. And I mean, the default solar panels, don't get me wrong, they're pretty cool, but... Ooh, that's kind of small. That's why we now have the large solar panel. This bad boy right here, which requires 12 quarts to be built, is quite the monstrosity. But yeah, it can be used to power your base, and given that it is essentially the size of the base, I imagine it brings quite a bit of power. Now, when it comes to power, we're not actually done. There is another feature that comes with this mod, and that is the battery power generator. I mean, this thing is pretty simple. Uh, from my understanding, it requires a power cell. And there you go. Now it generates power for our base. So I would say these are two very cool additions, you know. Um, the visuals, I will say, remind me actually a bit more of natural selection. It's almost as if though this is a bit of an older piece of technology and we're nowhere near done. There are also some cabinets that come with this. Here we have some 9x9 storage, a little crate as well as some lockers. I actually love the Yelterra branding on them. I think these look freaking fire, and look at this, they even have animations on them. Man, how sick is that? But let's be honest, the real thing we all care about is how are you defending your base from those Reaper attacks? And my solution to that? Yeah, absolute annihilation. These are three types of buildable turrets, which is freaking wild. Now, when you swim up to the turret, you can click T on your keyboard by default, and this will actually open what creatures it should target. You can add here, you can type anything in that you want, you click update and it will start targeting those things as well. For example, let's try spawning a crab squid. Well, they are targeting it, but oh, I guess I have to give them ammo, don't I? Let's feed this thing some torpedo, shall we? Oh, there we go. Dang, look at it go. Oh my goodness. Now this is how you defend your base. Wow, and there it goes. But you know what's even better than defending your base? It's taking the fight to the enemy. And there's only one enemy I can think of that we could use all of this weaponry on. Let me build a little thing here. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty good. All right, perfect. I've armed my little platform here. Let's see how this stuff deals with a Reaper. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Wow, that Reaper fled fast. Dang, and it died all the way out here. Jesus. Now the thing is, once it's dead, yes, look at that. This mod also brings a reaper meat, the nightmare raw meat, and not recommended to eat raw. You know, I kind of want to eat it raw, just like reaper sushi, but fair enough. So super cool mod and the author said they might even be adding base attacks in the future so that you can basically play tower defense, which would be incredibly awesome. But moving on, now let's be honest, the dunes are a terrible biome, absolutely horrendous, I really dislike it here, not that it's a bad biome, it's more that the inhabitants are less than accommodating. And look at that long snake. And many of you might be aware of the crater that exists in the dunes. Caused by a meteor, I always thought, oh look, a time capsule. That was actually super cool, thank you for the time capsule. Caused by a meteor, I always thought it was strange that precursors... Oh my god, hello. <sighs> Good grief. Caused by a meteor. Anyway, there is now a base here. Look, the Reaper just broke my script, whatever. Here it is. This is the meteor research base. And it's exactly what you think it is. It is an extra precursor base that can be found over the meteor site in the dunes. We have a purple tablet here a big old cluster of ion cubes, as well as some loose ion cubes. What is this? A data terminal on alien biological history. So, you know, all in all, this isn't a huge base, but I thought it was something super cool to just liven up the environment and at least give you some reason to go to this godforsaken place. Now, for our last mod of today, I saved something super cool. So, 
In our previous mod video, I showcased the mod Deeper Waters. This is the one that adds a bunch of biomes into the void. However, I was actually talking to the mod creator after, you know, releasing that video, and as it turns out, there was a bunch of updates that came out essentially just after I had recorded my footage that basically improve on the mod massively and fill out those biomes with content. So I just want to show you some of that stuff. The coolest thing that has changed now which you'll be able to notice very shortly. Before I even show you the biome, look at this. If I use the print biome command, it now does not display the void. And this means one thing and one thing alone. You no longer need to worry about ghost leviathan spawning here because you are no longer in the void. These are the abyssal barons. And it is a barren biome for sure. There are some deep shrooms spawning here, some shells. It definitely lives up to the name, but you can see there is now a bunch of creatures spawning. Wow, look at this thing. Yeah, see, now this is looking like proper biomes. There's a crab squid in here. If I disable the fog real quick, you can now see that, yeah, this is massively improved. You're going to see a lot more structures. You're going to see like little waterfalls and stuff, as well as animals all around. Let's look at, let's look at some more biomes. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. I believe this is called the Kyanite Reef. I can certainly see why. There's a lot of Kyanite here. Now, I'm not sure how this works in terms of balancing, because kyanite is usually very hard to come by. But this is 700 meters deep only, off the edge of the void, which presumably you can get to relatively safe. This might be the new best place to go farm this resource. Whoa, ho, ho. what are you? Hello, friend. Oh, gosh. Uh, the friend is eating me. I believe this is the abyssal worm or something. It looks like a crab snake has gone emo. I mean, super cool, but yeah, not very friendly, huh? So these are the abyssal pods. I can certainly get where they get that name from. This is called the Peacock Ray Zone. I see a ghost leviathan down there as well. He's certainly not very friendly, I can tell you that much. This bomb is called Deep Dunes. So, you know, my expectations were already not great because I don't like the regular dunes either. And making them deeper is just not nice, but I love these little underwater islands here. Such a cool touch. It is a little disconcerting that I am hearing a reaper in the distance. I believe one of these um, void biomes also spawns those. Not super nice, but I do love these like compressed red bulb bushes. They look super cool. Whoa, there's definitely a lot to see here. Oh my goodness, look at this. I want to give a massive shout out to Danny the Danny, the creator of this mod who talked me through some of the troubleshooting and showed me some of these awesome pieces of concept art they have for it. If you guys are fans of Subnautica modding, this is a definitely one to keep your eyes on. But that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the mods in this one. And if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. With that, I'm going to wish you all a beautiful rest of today, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye.